They weren't giving him morphine, but they were still giving him a mild tea. <laughs> Star Wars. Hey guys, this is my review for the seventh episode of Mandalorian Season 2. This episode saw the return of Bill Burr. For those of you who watched my Season 1 review, he was actually kind of one of my biggest disappointments of the season. Considering I very much like Bill Burr, I think he's a great comedian, I love F is for Family. To see him as subdued as he was in that one episode he was in was kind of jarring. It felt like he was on a morphine drip the whole time. This time he has a little bit more pep to him and if anything a lot more seriousness to him. He's still a little bit mild considering what happens to them in this episode. All things considered, this is a pretty decent episode even though it starts out quite slow. This episode has the Mando gang go and get him from the prison planet that he's on to break into a Imperial facility to find a means of where Moff Gideon is. It's a very convoluted, kind of odd plan, to be honest. It's whatever for the episode. There is actually a pretty great homage, at least that's what my theory is, to Indiana Jones in this episode. When the Mando and Bill Burr have to take this explosive carriage or transport to the base and they're getting attacked by all of the rebels pissed off of the Imperials there they just want to keep blowing them up there's a great action sequence on top of the transport with explosions fighting and it's actually a really great sequence funny enough how the whole morality of killing rebels who just want to get rid of the Imperials never comes up in the entire time also there is a great conversation between Mando and Bill who brings up the morality and also the ethics of his whole putting on the helmet thing and just the ethics of what people are and the limits that they have and what they'll do once those limits are pushed. I actually thought that was a little bit more deeper than I was expecting. Sure, it's a bit kind of copy and paste from other conversations from other shows, but thankfully that context did come up considering what happens later on in the episode once they get inside the facility. While the whole kind of helmet off thing was a bit like jarring, it was the conversation with that creepy ass guy from Doom, the the Rock movie back in the early 2000s, that terrible Doom movie. He's just as creepy in this scene. And when Bill takes out the blaster and guns him, I knew something like that was coming, but it was a really cool homage to Han Solo as well, in terms of just blasting. They get out of the facility, they blow it up, then the obvious little bit of letting Bill Burr go and faking that he died in the explosion. Whatever, I guess, even though he's a convicted criminal. But yeah, you blew up some Imperials. Again, the whole ethics thing, not coming up whatsoever so that was a little bit of a missed opportunity i feel and then the episode ends with mando giving that really great threat to moff gideon the episode itself starts off quite slow and once it gets going it's probably at a good decent pace i would never say it dips into exceptional i feel that maybe there could have been a little bit more talk about the whole morality of Mando's ethics, the idea of Rebels and Imperials not being very much different. That was the shit that Last Jedi tried to talk about, but never really did, other than this, like I said, copy and paste stuff, never really dipping into it. I kind of wanted to see something like Rogue One in terms of what is good and what are the costs for doing the right thing. In the end, I'm going to give this episode a 4 out of 7. Really excited to see what the next episode offers. I'm quite interested because as i've said before this can't go down the same niche road that we've had already we've gotten enough of mando going after the child they have to kind of push past it they have to advance past this otherwise we're just going to get another retread of season three which don't get me wrong i'm loving this show the production value is fantastic it's such a huge step up from the first season the first season was really decent but they do need to kind of vary up what they're going to do, especially with Season 3 probably going to be starting to production soon. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say The Click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.